your host, Alex Garrett. How is your St. Patrick's Day weekend going? Let me ask that again. How is your St. Patrick's Day weekend going? I've got a few things on my mind that I want to talk about right now on this podcast. Firstly, do you think this show should become a radio show? Do you think this podcast should become a radio show? I'll tell you why. Because Nielsen is saying that right now, radio is beating television among 18 to 49 year olds. That's right. Radio is beating television among 18 to 49 year olds. I know I'm on the go here, but I had to talk about this because, look, I'd like to get someone on from Nielsen itself. Because here's the trend. 63% of 18 to 49 year olds were listening to AM, FM compared to just last year, 103% in quarter three, 3% larger than television. 103% of 80, of four, of 18 to 49 year olds, um, measured, I guess you'd say, are watch are listening to the radio. So does one leg up with Alex Garrett belong on the radio? That is my first question. Email me, alex at alexgnyc.com, alex at alexgnyc.com. <clears throat> I want to know, should this show get a sponsor and get on the radio? I don't want to do GoFundMe. I want to get a legit sponsor that would want to fund an hour or half hour, if you will, on the radio. And I'll try it. I will try it. But let me know if you want us to get on the radio and, and what your ideas are to get on there. So, <laughs> that being said, there's a couple other things I want to talk about today. I'm going to share that link about Nielsen in the uh, description, by the way. But I wanted to get a couple things in. Remember three years ago, the mantra together apart was really picking up and how we were standing strong by staying apart. And, you know, for maybe a month or two, that made sense. But by Thanksgiving, didn't you have the stronger apart fatigue? Wasn't that together apart fatigue kicking in by even July or August? I think it was for me. I think it was for you. And so I wanted to say this St. Patrick's Day on Stone Street, you can see the picture, Alex G. NYC 1. There's an awesome, awesome hug that I captured on Stone Street just three years after the famous historic Stone Street was totally and utterly empty because of the lockdown March 17th, 2020. Fast forward three years later and boys and girls, that place was packed. It was hyped up. It was great. I had to experience it. Only had one pint of Guinness this weekend and that was yesterday. Uh, here in Port Washington, but you know, it was fun, and being amidst the crowd on Stone Street was special. It made me realize how special it was to document this recovery from when it first locked down to now, as we're getting back into things, and the time for three years in between. Special moments indeed. Yes, we were locked down, but capturing the recovery has been really exciting and this is part of it this St. Patrick's Day is part of it and so I implore you to check it out Alex G NYC 1 Alex G NYC 1 the throngs of people at Stone Street will warm your heart and warm mine as did the fact that those there was a warm hug that really said, we're back. And really made you feel like, we're back, we're congregating. Together apart is nonsense, it's BS. And we have to be together through it thick and thin. Do we not? Do we not on this podcast? I think so. I think so.
You know, I never realized how the LIR has so many announcements during a train ride until you're trying to do a podcast. But this is a Garrett on the go because it's one of these things I cannot keep inside. I've got to talk about it. Can we also talk about the fact that two New Jersey teams are absolutely rolling in the March Madness? Fairly Dickinson University taking down Purdue Friday night. What their future holds, we don't know. But this is exciting stuff. Is it not watching the FDU Knights? And then, and then, uh, you got, I don't know, you got, then you got, sorry for the delays here, but I, I gotta mute this as much as I can when the announcements are in. Um, then you got, The fact that Princeton is also climbing. Looks like Rick Rick Pitino is the St. John's head coach after Iona fell to UConn. And then what about the other upsets? Kansas going down yesterday. I mean, these were some unbelievable things happening in the tournament. What are you thinking about that? March Madness. Is your bracket busted? I think, last check, only 0.12% of the brackets we're actually still intact as of Thursday. So that's how bad day one was for the bracket, for the brackets and uh, how fun it was. These upsets are exciting, are they not? Are they not? Kansas going down yesterday. Come on now. So the journey continues, and we will continue here on this podcast. we got a lot to go this week, so stay tuned. You're on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network.